What's going on guys, it's Adonis, and I'm here to actually show you guys a cool application called Dr. Phone by Wondershare for people that have maybe deleted some files off of their phone that they want back. Let's get into it. So if you're like me, and you've deleted something off of your phone in the past and you're like, damn it, I want it back, but you don't want to recover it from an iCloud backup because you don't want everything back from your device. This app is perfect for that. So I'm going to show you why and how to use it. Now, first thing you want to do is obviously open the Dr. Phone application and then connect your iDevice to the computer via the Lightning to USB. Once it's connected, it's going to give you a connected and you're going to be greeted by a syncing pane. On the left, you have recover from iOS device you have recover from iTunes backup file, so you can select what backup file you have. Recover from iCloud backup file, so if you wanted to restore things from iCloud, you could. And if you click on the more tools, you have iOS system recovery, which basically allows you to recover your iOS system, whether you're seeing the white screen of death or you're in a boot loop, this will actually help with that, um, that, with that process. So we're gonna go back to recover from iOS device. And in this space, we have two panes. We have deleted data from iDevice, and then we have existing data on the device, which basically is everything that's currently on the phone. Um, so what I'm gonna do is show you what this looks like. So I'm gonna unclick the select all, and I'm gonna select contacts, and we're gonna hit start. And what it's gonna do is gonna analyze the device, see what's on the device, and then it's gonna start pulling that information in. Now, now I've done this a couple of times, and the time it takes to do it has varied dramatically. It hasn't been consistent at all. I just want to give you guys a heads up. I'll do a time lapse to kind of get through it so I can show you what it looks like after. Now once the phone has been scanned, you have a couple of panes here. You have the left side which basically tells you how many contacts you have. Then you have the center pane with the contacts and a filter and then the right side of what the actual contact is. Now I'm going to select the filter and only show deleted. It's going to show everything that I've actually deleted from my contact list in the past which is really interesting. And you can select the ones that you want to bring back by just clicking on the little check. And then from there, you can hit restore to device, which will bring it to the device, or you could restore to PC, which will obviously make a file and you can save it. So if I wanted to save this, let's say to the desktop, I could do that. And I'm gonna save that. And it's gonna bring that contact to the desktop. And then once it's there, I can click on here and it's contacts and there's three different types of files, a CSV, I have an HTML, which is there, and then I have a VCF, which Mac take. Now all the other things to import are very similar. It just depends on how much you have, um, and then you know the time it will take to actually bring that into it. Now for those that have a phone that is password protected, let's say you forgot your pin code for your phone, um, there's, there's kind of no way to bypass that. Um, even Apple doesn't have a way to bypass that. Um, now, the application is not for that. So I'm gonna show you right now. I just connected a phone that is locked. It should register in the app really fast. Now once it does connect, it will still show you the panes, but when you try to click start, it's gonna ask you to enter the passcode for the device. This means that it's password protected and there's actually no way for the application to still pull that stuff from your phone. So if your phone, let's say you forgot your pin code or your kid got a hold of your phone, and you wanna pull this data off before resetting your phone, this is not the way to do it. Um, you would want to see if maybe you have a older iCloud backup prior to that passcode being changed and restoring from that backup. So if you were thinking, hey, I, I have a passcode lock on my phone, this will allow me to pull that data off, this actually is not the resource for that. So that's gonna do it for my doctor phone walkthrough, guys. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about the application and if it will help you in trying to recover your files off your phone. If you guys like this review, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, show me some love, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you gotta do that, man. You gotta do it. Hit that APP logo in the corner to subscribe to the channel, or if you're on mobile, hit the subscribe button. All right, guys, till next time. See you later. Thanks again for watching, guys. If you guys like this video and want to see more content like this, go ahead and click that APP logo in the corner to subscribe to the channel. Also, if you guys want to chat with me on social media, go ahead and like my Facebook page, Absolutely Tech, and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Adonis underscore ATMLV. All right, guys, till next time. See you later.